somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. laughter, and they're singing the old songs, linking arms, but that was from a happier time. Deals are made here. Some is under the influence of wine, and sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. 
men or hound, they all go in. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. He says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hopple he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian Cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Good day, Master Corvo. They, they top off the line with river water, water but, but eventually someone swoons. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? Or is it an overseas? By your bearing, I'd say so. Lord Pendleton's great-grandfather took a Soconan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, the story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. There's a little Tivian blood in the Pendleton line. Oh, Only after a long day of work will he return to his home I think it's come out of the brothers just a little bit. He always My Lord Trevor's pure well, as the Empress herself. Even as his wife and child grow thin. She hides her hands. They are raw and scarred from the washing. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes. And I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. But the calm is a smart one. She fears the Abbey and the plague. She is a seamstress in a shop frequented by the wealthy. Decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands, and of your heart. They stood in a circle around the candles, and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. Havelock stopped in earlier, but I forgot what he wanted. What can I do for you?
He is Pierre O'Chaplin. Even now he visualizes the next invention. Astonishing. I wish you could see it too. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than all the rest put together. The conspirators have found a safe home here. They take great care that they are followed. The other servants don't like her. Work is never done for the lowly servant. Her servant wages will not be enough to fix her father's debts. The alien is sweet with honey to hide the taste of the river rye. The sober speaking whispers, the drunk bellow. Infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district. Our fortunes have been won here. Corvo, Our lives have been lost. Hello, I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer, that wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me, but my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. The old man landed a dark corner and drank himself into oblivion. The hounds were the first to find him. She is Callista Kernow. She has learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. They are burning ways. I overheard the Admiral at breakfast, talking about the over- 